Hi guys! In this series of Node.js from Zero to Hero, we're going to demonstrate on how to use Malter in uploading single files and multiple files. So now, without any further ado, let's get started. To start with, we're going to create a new folder. And I'm going to name this as Project Malter. For this demo, I'll be using VS Code. And for you guys, uh, you can use uh, any IDE on your preference. Uh, just make sure that you have Node.js installed on your OS. Okay, cool. Now that we set up our uh, BS code, the next thing we need to do is we need to set up the or initialize our package. So to do that, we need to type maybe we need to move this closer seems our PC is a little slower. Okay, so let's type ahead with npm init minus y okay cool now from this point here i'm going to create an entry point and that is our server.js now for this uh startup we'll be needing the following for now, we're going to install npm on here, but it should be npm, npm install press. That should be the starting point. Uh, please, uh, please let me know, uh, guys, that this uh, demo will only tackle about uh, on how to use motor. So if you're thinking of adding database on the later part, you can use this code to appro apply the approach in saving those information but just for this demo uh, we'll be focusing on longer. okay good now that is done the next thing we need to install now is the multiple For those who don't know what is Malter, Malter is a, is, is a special type package in Node.js wherein this is one of the most common uh, packages that use in Node.js to upload images. So if you're uh, just new to this package, uh, this is a good thing to, or good example to use because you can apply this in different variation in your preparing codes. As long as long if you're targeting on 3D images, uh, Malter is a good choice. Okay, so while waiting, uh, please watch also my previous video regarding JSON Web Token. Uh, and also other part of the series where we discuss the using MBC, the passport so check those uh, previous videos guys uh, this will also help on your development as you on as you progress on this uh, or enhance on your programming ability in Node.js okay so it seems it's a little slower I guess we can proceed with the next part so while waiting for that to finish the next thing you need to do now is uh, we need to prepare our 
our basic syntax. So to do that, we need to type var express equals to wire expert. And from here, you need to, to type var op equals to express. And we need to type up and set. We need to set our port. And we proceed with our process that env port. Or we need to pick the port 4000. And from here, we need to type bar server equals to ATP at user. We need to get ATP.get. We need to work port. And from our port, Like the function if her and we need to load the error then from here going to set a message equals to server is running at running action pressing at http colon slash dash localhost slash plus server dot address address dot port first we need to provide console dot lock to display that so that's the first part. Hmm. Seems this one's still a little slower. We can cancel this one. And two. This one again. For some cases, uh, if your internet is uh, a little slower, uh, you can try to check your internet if it is uh, stable and make sure that that they're typing the correct word here. But this point here, uh, this one is still installing the motor. Okay, so there's already a progress. Now, if you're waiting for this one, uh, you can skip this video and proceed on the code. So right now, okay, good. So it's already done. Now, before we're going to examine our basic code, the first thing is we need to examine our package. As of the time of this recording, our Express is version 4.17 and with a motor of 1.4. That's our current version. Okay, so that's it. So let's go back to our code. Now, a while ago, I write this uh, basic code. In, the, in our basic code, we emphasize of using Express. And we assign a port, which is 4000. And we provide the output link. So let's try. So to run this one, I'll be using Nodemon. But since I won't, I won't going to install Nodemon 
I prefer to use the NPX. So you can type NPX, not mon, and server. And so, as you can see, at this point here, our initial code is working. Okay, cool. So the next part now is we need to assign that motor. Now that we already uh, called our express, next thing now is we are going to start uh, set up our motor. To do that, we need to call R motor equals to require motor. Okay, so from this point here, let's say going to move here. So we're going to type bar storage. At this point here, we're going to prepare the the middleware for this one. So for this middleware, we assigned it as storage. So for that, we need to type multer that this storage then we got to set our destination. So from here I'm going to call a function that first we need to provide a require then a part including cv okay so that should do now from here let's expand very well so those uh, this storage is according to that from here destination function rec file cb so here oh, okay, we need to close this one closing that one to this bracket then okay so that should do now now that we assign our cb we need to call that equals to cb null Then from here, uh, we need to assign the, the location site. So this site or this folder will serve as the collection of those image once you upload. To do that, we need to specify. And for this one, I'm going to type it as uploads. Okay. Then from here, I'm going to assign the pounding function. Correct file and cd so for the file we need to assign cd and now then with the file itself and with the properties of original name okay so that's the next part so this will uh, set up our storage as to where are the locations for the upload. Now that we work on the middleware, from here we want to assign the variable uploads, upload, and we're going to call now our multer. So from our multer we want to hold storage and the assigned property for the storage. Okay, cool. Okay. Now that we have completed our middleware, the next thing we need to do now is we need to create this folder. So we need to copy that. And make sure it's a root directory. So from your point here, you need to create a folder called uploads. Okay, cool. Okay, now that we set up our upload location the next thing we need to do now is we need to apply this in our app so to do that for that for our app to work so we need to use that function first we need to specify again the upload directory then with the location itself so that our node will recognize the location 
Aquí. Uploads. Ok, just to make sure. Ya. Yeah. Very good. Okay, so done. We're done on the first part. Now next, um, this time uh, we're going to create a routes. So to do that, uh, to do that, we need to create a new folder, and we're going to create this or name this as routes. Now, for our routes to be called, uh, we need to create a, a variables which is assigned to our routes. Then from here, we're going to call the require with the routes location. So this is our routes location. So which means I'm going to create this file index within this uh, route location. So then also, since we already specify our routes, we're going to pass on our app. So that's the node or the express uh, setup including the middleware so we need also this middleware okay so right now we don't have the routes yet so from this point here we're going to create our routes so from our routes we need to create a new file which is called index.js Okay, so now that we have our index.js, then we're going to provide a module exports to pass on the variables. So from here, you need to type pvp, then uploads. Okay, so it, so what it does is from the main server. When it bounds these routes, it will pass this variable. Then inside our routes, this variable will be passed to this section here. Okay. So, uh, like again. Oh, it's uploads. Upload. So I should be upload. Okay. Now, routes is only a typical location. So later, we're going to create the uh, controller for this one. So to do that, uh, we need to prepare our and we can proceed with this one. So let's say from here, we're going to up, up post, so which means we're going to perform a, uh, oops, that's supposed to be post. So from here, we're going to perform a post request and the URL that we're going to use is single upload. Right now, we don't have the uh, controller yet. So since we're passing a controller, so we're going to create a new folder here. We're going to name this as controller. Then from our controller, we're going to create our controller files. That is photo. Controller. That is. Okay, so, so this is the component that we need. So from this point here, so since I'm working with the single upload, so I'm going to create a functions for that. So to do that, you need to type exports that single upload equals to function. Request. Okay. okay, so what are the things we need for this single upload? So what it does is once I receive the upload the files, so let's say an image, so what it does is going to assign a variable response. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to return this variable. So once posted, this will return the file 
for the file we use in the upload. So from here, I'm going to sign a, a hyperglig rep. So this is the anchor tag for image. Ah, I know it's the anchor tag for the link to the home. So for this here, I'm going to type like this. So I'm going to print out this uh, HTML tag. So let's say, let's say. Okay, so a href slash. So this is the uh, the default URL. So from our default URL, I'm going to display our home. So this will return to the home. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a brick command here. Okay. So next to that line is I'm going to perform a concatenation. So let's say plus equals I can say that files uploaded successfully. And with a break. Then from this point here. Okay, so I'm going to perform response plus equals. So what we need to do is I'm going to make sure you use this one. So this will perform a dynamic. So from here, I'm going to display that image. So from here, I'm going to type image source is equals to dollar rec dot file dot path. Okay. Then from here, I need to close that tag. So what it does is this will uh, save our image. So once uh, received, this will print the image. Then I'm going to perform a break. Uh, okay, so I just need to type that. Br. Okay, so that should be it. So what it does is once we upload or perform a single upload, it will display file upload successfully and it will return the path of that image. Okay, cool. Okay, so once that uh, that image is pulled, so we're going to apply that in our routes. So to do that, Make sure guys you know how to use MBC. So at this point here, I'll be using MBC. So from this section here, I'm going to call the uh, the controller first. We need to type cons. Let's say photo controller it's equals to require and dot dot slash controller slash photo controller okay then we're going to call this or copy this controller and paste it next to this one here and we're going to call that function which is single upload okay but this uh won't work for now because this is a pre-upload so what we need to do is we need to apply the middleware. So remember this one, this upload. So this is serve a purpose. So from this point here, we need to copy our middleware. Then from here, we need to indicate that what type of uploads that we're going to perform. So from here, we need to perform a single upload. And the fields that single okay. upload that single okay that should be it. now from this point here we need to specify the 
the receiving part. So this is the field from the form. So at this point here, I will uh, prefer the port name uh, in single file. So this is the name of that field. Okay, so I guess the first part is okay now. So let's make sure that everything is okay. Okay. So what we need to do now is now that we perform the or set up the single page upload, the next thing we need to do now is we need to set our our receiving tile. So from that point, we'll be needing uh, HTML for that. But before we're going to proceed with the H HTML, uh, we need to create first our our template for the storage. Now to do that, uh, I would suggest uh, we need to create a public folder. So just to let you know that I won't be using any EJS or handlebars or pub, just a normal HTML. Uh, this is just a normal so that all of us uh, can use this basic application. So to do that, we can use uh, app use and I want to call the express that static and the DR name with the location of that static files. So from here, I want to paste that in our public. Okay. Right. So since we already pre uh, prepare our setup for the public files, we need to create that folder as well. So copy this one here. And from here, you need to Hit this folder and paste. There you go. So that's the point. So from here, uh, I can use uh, any format because right now this is open to public. So I'm going to set our HTML in this section. So to do that, I need to create uh, index.html. So this should be our default. And then from here, going to perform or write our basic uh, HTML. For those who are first time in writing an HTML, so be, uh, be sure that you watch my previous video on how to use uh, or how or the lesson on HTML5. So this is a little uh, because usually when it comes to web programming, you really need to have a basic knowledge about uh, HTML5. So that's the foundation of web programming. So from the title, I can say this upload page. Okay. And from here, I'm going to call the body. Okay, since this is our first upload, so we're going to perform a form request. So that in the form HTML. To do that, we need to call the form. And this point we want to perform the post method. Okay. And from this point, we want to perform the actions. Let's say this is single upload. Single upload uh, and create. Okay, let's work with single upload first for now. Okay, so hopefully this should work. Okay, for you guys uh, later. As long as you understand this concept, you can use later on this one if on your prepared uh, uh, design. So you can use Bootstrap or Materialize or anywhere, uh, any concept that you want to apply. Okay, so let's say you're going to call the label. So let's say this is upload single image. Okay. Then from here, I'm going to perform a input 
and that input is a file and the name of that one is single file That should be it. So that's okay. And then from this point here, we're going to perform a deep tag to separate the submit button or the submit. Uh, yeah, the submit button. So of course we need this one. So we need to put input type equals to submit with a value of. Upload. Okay, cool. Okay, so what it does now is uh, we perform by using this form uh, form HTML tag to perform a post request. And from here, what we need to do is uh, we call this action single upload. Oops. It will be single upload. Why single code? Because our routes, if you go back to our routes, this is the routes that we're going to load. So it should be single upload. Now from going back here, using this file tag with the name of single file, single file, it should be match up in our middleware. So from our middleware, so if you go back here to routes, this is single dash file. So I need to copy that. Because this is the requirements for the malter to interpret the content. So going back here, I need to paste that. Oops. I just simply ask this one. Okay, so make sure there are they are the same. So because here I set up single file. Okay, make sure that it's in. Right, cool. So well, let's try. So let's try this first method. So to do that, uh, you can type simply or open any browser and type the localhost. But for this part here, I already prepared that. So I just need to control then click. Seems it takes time. Ah, there. Okay, so we need to check why is it Ah, this should be HTTP only. Maybe I need to check the code. Ah, it's HTTP localhost. Okay, so I think that should be it. to type this uh, single ah sorry this should be this should be oops local post 4000 HTT There you go. So I think I have problem with my code. So I need to ch check it very well. So from here, guys, instead like this, you need to replace as this. 
so that so that it will reflect the port here so that should be the port okay so if that's ready okay so yeah that should be okay now that we have a uh, preview of our static file now take note uh, this was captured from our public folder so which is the index.html so since we already set up here in our public so that should be the default page that it will read okay so that's the whole concept here now let's try from here i'm going to select an image okay so we have a good selections here so let's say i'm going to pick this one then open okay then click upload I cannot read the path or undefined. So we need to examine why. Uh, for sure, it's the location. So we need to check uh, this location here. So controller 520. It would be controller 520. Okay, so we need to examine everything. Uh, oh yeah because i forget to mention here so i failed to return so make sure you have a return statement so from here i need to type send Should be send then oops then from inside here should be response So let's examine very well. So red file path so would be that. And our folder here, upload. There you go. Alright, I think that should work. From the server. So since we already passed the upload. And our static folder is uploads. So yeah, that also okay. Um, Okay, so I guess ah this one. I wonder. Okay, so I guess I found a problem here. So let's try again. So hopefully this works now. And going to select this one. Then upload. Okay, so still this is the problem. Read property, so path undefined. So we need to figure this out. So that's five twenty. All right. So let's check why. Five. Oh, this is. But undefined, so this one is undefined. Hmm. Seems the receiving part has issues here, so we need to add additional property for this one to recognize. So, to do that, uh, let's try apply an encrypt here. So from here, try to time an encrypt. So since uh, I'll be using multi-part, multi-part um, form data. Okay. So let's try again. So just yes, upload this one. Okay. So let's go back here and reset and file uh, upload again. Upload. We have a reset, so let's check why. Okay, 
Oh, okay. So now CD is not defined. So it's from the motor. So let's check our motor. So from here. should be called directory okay so i got means interpretation here okay should be cb cb and from here should be cb okay so make sure we type the correct one so make sure guys uh, make sure you specify the correct one from here most of the time i have issues uh, sometimes uh, uh, typos problem so make sure you know how to do this and also make sure you know how to read this error code so from here i noticed that those are the problem so let's try okay so we pick again and select this one and upload there you go we successfully upload the image but i failed to display here so we need to check our code okay as you can see from our folders we receive the files so the file here is already upload but for some reason the display is not uh, displayed correctly so we need to fix that so let's let's check this very well um, back file image equals to source source hmm. that's weird so let's say we need to debug this one um, just make sure that we are receiving the image one of the things that we need to do when uh, encoding is we need to use or know how to use uh, console log because on some cases like this one uh, <clears throat> i prefer to use console log because it's much faster oh there's an error um, i'd rather to use Red file pad. Okay. So just to make sure this is one is readable. But before going to check from here, I'll make sure that our motor or the middleware has or it's setting up the correct pad because sometimes. Okay, from here we set up the uploads so that's correct ah okay we need it's here this is the error <clears throat> okay because at this point here this is the location that it will uh, check so this one here is the location from the storage and what it does is in node.js they already know this setup so what you need is you need to emphasize the uploads without specifying the dots because this one here already ex uh, explain or set up the path for that particular folder so okay so i guess that's the corrections we have so let's go back here we need to click home okay we're going to pick one more image let's say this one and click upload there you go okay good so the first part of single upload is now working so i guess some of you guys here has already tons of errors so make sure uh you follow alone from this uh code that i'm writing right now 
So that's the first part. Okay, now that we set up our or demonstrate our uh, single upload, the next thing we need to do now is we need to perform the multiple. So these uh, functions will upload not only one uh, image, uh, we're going to collect as many as possible. Of course, uh, we need to start with, we can begin with our routes. Okay. Okay, from this point here, we want to perform the app.post. So this is our post method. Then, I'm going to call this as multiple upload. Then, from here, we're going to upload or set up our middleware. But, this point now is we're going to perform an array collection. Why array? Because we're going to perform a multiple upload. So we're going to set up the array. Then, we're going to specify the field. So for that, we're going to perform or name that as multiple files. And of course, we need to limit the upload. So from this example, I'll be limit to 12. Then, Okay, so we're going to stop from here because we don't have the controller yet. So the next part is the controller. So from our controller, okay, from here, we're going to create a function. The name of the function is multiple upload. Function press. Okay. So I can copy this one here. So since this is a default. Okay. And then from the since we're going to display a multiple loop. Maybe I can copy this one here. Oh, I can copy. Uh, I can copy this full section here. Then paste here. Okay. Then, uh, maybe from this section here, I can perform a for loop. So, this will loop for the entire files that you're going to send. So from here, you're going to set i equals to zero. Then i is less than uh, rec dot files dot length. Then go to implement our i. Okay. Then, we need to close that for loop. Now, what we need to do here is from our uh, here, set of file, this should be files. Then, we apply our variable. Okay, so make sure you copy that. Okay, so yeah, so that's okay. Now, now that we set up our controller, let's go back to our routes. So from here, we need to find comma auto controller dot multiple upload. Okay, how can you see that? Uh, I think that's okay. But here you need to save this one. Let's make sure. Uh, okay. Uh, all right. So that should be okay. Now let's go back from here. I think we don't need this anymore. So what I can do now is. I can copy this form 
can be seer. But before that, I'm going to perform a horizontal line. And here. Okay. Now that we have a two sets of form, the first one is for single upload. The next one is the pause action for multiple upload. So from here, I want to replace this as multiple upload. Okay. And this time, I'm going to perform the encrypt. And it's a multi-part multi form data. And I'm going to replace this set of single. This time is with a multiple image. And it should be multiple files. Okay. So we need to make sure. So let's go back to our routes. Okay. Give the slash. So this is the routes, multiple uploads. And this is the file or the tag that we're accessing. So this is multiple files. Let's see that. And from, from our index, so this is the routes. And that file is multiple files. Okay, so let's try this one. Let's go back here. And there you go. A while ago, I made some changes here just to make sure that this is still working. So I'm going to select one and upload. Ah, okay, so that, that requires. So let's go back to our. here so this one should be required means we're sending a form okay so yeah we'll leave it as is but this is a multi-part uh, multi form data and this also is a multi-part form data so let's go back now to our code here Let's pick one more time and upload. Yeah, it's work. Okay. Now that we're going to test now is this multiple image. So since the first one is working, so let's try multiple approach. So let's say going to be one, two, three, four. Up. Hmm. Okay, so there's a problem with this selection. I need to go back with the code. Okay. The reason is that our problem is uh, we cannot pick multiple. So to do that, we need to type here in this file tag, we need to type required multiple. Uh, okay so what's the purpose of this one so that we can pick multiple selections in the file so let's go back here and hit enter so hopefully we can select multiple files so i'm going to press control then click one two three four so yeah it works I got to pick everything here. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. And click open. So as you can see, we selected six files. So we're performing upload. There you go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, okay, so that works. So let's check our backend. Okay, so these are the location of the files. Okay. So this one is working now. So as you can see, that works. 
Okay. Now let's review. Now, in many cases, uh, we're using uh, Molter. Usually, uh, a lot of uh, developers, when it comes to Node, they use this Molter. So you can combine this with your uh, database uh, set uh, setup. You can save this code or apply some modification saving to database. So that's it, guys. So if you found this video informative, uh, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. See you guys on the next video series. Cheers!